Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So it's a get ready with me, but also it is a using some of the products that I got from Revolution, which is the Princess and the Frog and it is the Highlighter by Beauty and the Beast and they're both from Revolution. But also it's a Halloween look, so I'm putting it up tonight. I'm making this on the 31st. It's officially the 31st, it's 10.45 in the morning. I'm doing this, getting dressed and I'm going about my Halloween costume all day because I'm just staying in the house. <laughs> I have to get a new bed for fudge, but it's only essentials. Is that an essential? He's destroyed his bed and it's all got the stuffing coming out of it. Where will he sleep? So I consider it an essential, but is it? So I'm not sure. The shop might not be open anyway, but if it is, I'll be popping over in my Halloween costume because uh, puppies are essential and this bed is essential. Anyway, I digress. So I am just out of the shower. I've popped on the whitest of makeup because it is going to be a Halloween look as well as trying out these products. Now I thought, should I? But then I thought, well my Halloween dress is like a turquoise and there's lots of greens in here and initially I'd want to wear a green eye look so it's a no-brainer. I can combine the two. So yeah, this will be up at nine o'clock. So if you're watching this at nine o'clock tonight, happy Halloween 2020. What are you doing this year for Halloween? Are you staying safe? Are you staying in the house? What tier are you in? I'm in Wales, so we're in a complete lot. Okay, let's go and crack into this video, because I'm excited. Okay, I've done my face. I've um, done everything, like put on a toner, put on a moisturiser, so it's a good base for makeup. I haven't done any of the blusher or anything like that because we'll do that with this colour story here. Okay, so it looks like this. Now, I want to do a green look because I'm going to be a witch. I quite fancy it. And then I'm fancy in doing spider webs underneath my eyes. Bear with me because I am not a makeup artist. I tried to do the bat eyeliner that Charmed Wench had done. Epic fail. She's a genius, and I am not. <laughs> right, okay, so let's crack in with this. So, you would usually have a base colour, but there's no base in there that I can see. I mean, nothing is drawing me to a base. Yellow is, yeah, yellow is like a glittery one. So there's no base. Mm -hmm. I'm going for a green look. I'm just going to have to go in with lily pad as my base, which is super duper green. How is this going to turn out? Okay. Now, I don't usually get revolution makeup, so it's not I'm always on my channel, if you'll notice. Because um, I'm not sure of the payoff. So this might change my mind. I was watching um, Bee and Bryony. I love her channel. Go and watch her channel, it's amazing. I was watching it the other day and she was talking about her health concerns that have been happening recently. And she was doing her makeup while she was chatting. <sighs> Honestly, she's like a genius. Um, and she had this little brush and she inspired me. I was like, I'm gonna do that. And she did all these kind of movements, which I'm sure if Bryony is watching this, she'll think, well, I'm just doing my makeup normal, but to me it looked really <laughs> expertise. So I've been trying to do that. I mean, I have no makeup skills whatsoever. I just kind of go for it. But oh, I've ne I, my channel's definitely never been for the skills. So I think that payoff is good. I mean, impressed. I just loved the packaging on this and I had to get it for the packaging. I'm just gonna read my book all about Tiana. I think I've lost the plot today. It's Halloween. You can be extra cookie, can't you? Right, so that is a green down we've put down. Usually I wouldn't use that as a base, like that green, but hey ho, we've got no other choice. So, what to do? Right, I'm gonna go for swamp because swamp is the next kind of green up. Do you think I should have done yellow at the top there? Well, I have Mama Odie, which is like kind of like an orange. Do you know what? This might ruin it completely. But I'm going to do a little bit of orange. Or, you might never see it. <laughs> right, really, I should have put that one first and then gradiated it down. But I didn't. Ooh, Mama Odie. 
I love Mama Odie in the film. It's brilliant. Full of wisdom and knowledge in the centre of the bayou. Um, Lynette uh, commented on my video and said she'd never seen Princess and the Frog. <gasps> said, do I need to go see it? Straight away. Do it now. Because it's amazing. It's one of the best Disney films for me. The music is divine. Tiana is inspirational. She wants to start a business. She's a female. She doesn't need love. She falls in love in the meantime and she realises that family mean everything. But she gets her restaurant. She's the boss of the restaurant. And I love that for little girls growing up. You need a strong female character who doesn't just rely on a man to have a fairy tale ending. Because that ain't real life. We do it on our own. I should be playing sisters now. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Right. I'm going to get my mirror because I'm really not. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Apologies. Oh my god, I just swore in my video. That's the first swear. It just took me by surprise, see guys, because this is horrific. And I have bled down. That's the problem if you don't have a mirror and you're looking in the viewfinder. You can't see a thing. I nearly said something else then. Whoa. Right, okay, I'm going to go in with Swamp now because we've kind of yellowed it up, which maybe wasn't the best decision. I'm going to go in with Swamp. And that is kind of like the turquoise. And that's the turquoise in my dress. So really I should be making sure this is the colour. Oh, baby, I love your way every day. Yeah, yeah. I want to be with you night and day. I don't know why Swamp made me think of that song. Right, I think I totally ruined it by adding yellow. But we can salvage, we can do it. Right. I, first going off, I like the eyeshadows, but they are very transparent very see-through, so you'd have to really build them up to get a good look. So I've been used to modern renaissance at the moment, that's what I've been using every single day. I've got to get ready with me going up very soon on that in November. And honestly, you apply one colour and you're done. You're done. You don't need to be applying loads of layers to get the desired effect, which does mean that you have to be very careful because very suddenly it can get into a muddy look because you can put on, it can just be too much. This is going to be a really talky one, guys, because look at the time. Eight minutes, and I've not even... I'm really apologetic for you watching this. If any of you have got through to this point, thanks for coming with me. The boys are downstairs with their daddy watching a scary movie to start off our Halloween special. So, they're not missing me at the moment. But do you see how that's like a really see-through green? It's not in your face green. I'm kind of glad I added the yellow though, because that's like a yellow vibe, isn't it? I am getting in a real mess though. There's a lot of fallout in here. Lots. So I've got in the inner corner and on the outer corner. This eye, not so much, so I mustn't be giving it laldy on this side. Maybe it's just the problem that I do more force on that side. Time for a blending brush, which I haven't used in like an hour. Um, I'm just going to blend. Kind of really glad I used the yellow because it kind of just gives you that dimension. So I kind of like that. Right, okay. So there's no other green there that I can use. And I don't know what shimmer shade I'm going to use. I'm really struggling to pick. Just dropped my thing. It's either Tiana or Frog. Frog is the green there and Tiana is the lighter green. I think I'm going to go for frog, seeing as it's a Halloween look. Ooh. Now I've had, as I've said before, I've had um, Revolution before and I find their shimmer shades are fabulous and already they are, yep, way better than the mattes in my opinion. I mean I am not very worthy of an opinion, but their shimmer shades are divine. Look at that. Oh, they, they are amazing. I would just buy 
Revolution Shimmers. Just a box full of shimmers. That is beautiful green. Oh, palette was worth it for that. Love it. Oh, I love that green. It's divine. So yeah, if you're buying it, you're going to be impressed by the greens. I don't think you'll be impressed by the mattes so far. Right, I need to deepen it up now. But I don't know what with. So there's not a really dark green that you go in with, which is a real shame. But it really needs a darker green because I don't want to change the colour by going another one now. I think I'm just going to have to deepen it up with more swamp and hope that we can get more colour put on it. Maybe it's more like that, packing it on. You just have to, you just have to put on a good amount. You can't be scared. Already that's better. You have to do the other side. So I don't know if you've noticed but I've been like mega on my channel recently. I've just been feeling so much more motivated and so much in the zone. I've been trying to get back into all my favourite YouTubers and giving them my support because I have been lax without a doubt. It's been very difficult. Um, not difficult times, just my motivation in everything was lower. Everything. And that was life in general. And that's strange because 2020 has been a really positive year for me, for my mental health. But there's been a few things happen, like we lost our little dog Bella and it's just been sad. There's been elements of sadness and so it's been hard to get oomphed up about stuff. Okay, I'm going to go and tidy up these bits. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I've just cleaned up a little bit. And I'm liking the look as it's it's kind of coming together a little bit more. So I'm liking it a bit better now. Um, I am going to put a little bit of a lighter green, which was the Tiana that we've seen there, into the middle of my lid. I'm just using my fingers. Hmm... No, I think I maybe need to do a little bit of foundation there so it's going to sit properly. So, tiniest. Just to lighten that up. I don't have any concealer or I would use concealer. But that's enough, that'll do. Okay, and that just kind of gives it that, like, ombre kind of look on the top. I'm um, going to do the same with the other eye. Sorry. <laughs> you have to remember to not put your finger in the way. Or your mirror, sorry. Right, way too much on this one. Because I'm a doofus. Right. Now I'll have to do more on the other side. And really, the other side was way better. Didn't need as much. Right. So... That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm just putting another bit of the darker green into the bits that are supposed to be darker green. Okay, so we've got that. Now I'm going to do the under under eye. So I'm just going to go for more greens because I can. <laughs> so I'm going to do lily pad which was the lighter of the greens. No I'm not. It's just non-existent enough. So I'm going to do swamp. 
then I'm just using my eyebrow pencil. So I love it, it's just brilliant for doing under eye. And then you can kind of um, fluff it out or how would you say that? I don't know. Blend it out. Right, I'm conscious of the time guys, so I don't want you sitting here, well, if anybody would sit here for that length of time. So I'll try and wrap it up. Right, I'm going to try and do a little bit of the shimmer under here. And that is just a little bit of that Tiana shimmer under there. Okay, so that is kind of me finished on that one. I'm going to do my blusher now from this side, which is going to be ridiculously red. Okay, so let's... Uh, Mardi Gras are almost there. Almost there. Whoa! Let's hear it for the world. Right, this towel's going in the wash. So... Holy mackerel! Right, almost there. You do not need a lot. Because you're going to be... Flippin' Nick. <laughs> right, that is for a darker skin tone, not a white skin tone like mine. Yikers! Okay, so we're going to have to do something about this. Right, nice and calm now, whoop whoop, nice and calm. Okay, now we're gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter from this, my trusty little unicorn brush, and we'll go for hmm, the lightest one in there. Oh no, we're not gonna do it from this one, are we? We're gonna do the Beauty and the Beast one. Because we may as well get something from each of the palettes. Beauty and the Beast one, which is just divine. Isn't it gorgeous? So, I'm going to give a light and and hmm, a little bit over the top, a little bit on there, and that is that. Okay, so that is the eye look and this from these two items. I do have the Cinderella lip gloss but I'm going to put on another lipstick on at the moment and I am going to go do my hair, going to do the rest of my face and I'll be back with the finished look very soon. Okay, so see you in a minute. Hey guys, so I am back and I've just done my hair in some fashion. <laughs> I've still got to do it but there's raining outside so It'll probably be going up in a ponytail underneath the witch's hat. So, I thought I would come back. I have done my eyeliner. I put on some Lord & Berry, which I love. And I've added some lipstick, which is Slay All The Way by Lottie London, I think it was. It was from last year, actually. And now I'm going to do my Fierce Licks. And I'm going to do my spider web. I'm going to get my picture. So I took a picture. Right. This girl is amazing. Definitely is not going to look like that. It's not going to be 3D. It's going to be like non 3D. Okay. Oh, it's like as if it's running out. I guess it's a spider rig. It doesn't need to be. Perfect. <laughs> Thank God, it looks like a coat hanger. Right, so kind of spiderish. No, 
I'm going to do spider. So yeah, that is the beginning and the end of my talent. Ooh. <laughs> ah dear, we're back soon. Hey guys, so I'm back. And this is the finished look. So I have my Halloween outfit, my jaunty little uh, witch's hat, and I have some earrings, some black cats, just to finish the look, which you can't see with my hair, but my hair will be up because it's absolutely raining outside. So. This is my finished look for my Halloween 2020. We're, we're staying in, duking for apples, watching some scary movies, and that's about it really. So, what is everybody else getting up to? So, my final thoughts on, because it's a Halloween look, but it's also a kind of look at the palette, the Tiana palette, my final thoughts on that were, it's a little bit wishy-washy, but it gets there in the end. So that's it. Alright, so thanks for joining me this Halloween. I hope you have a really spooky night tonight. Take care of yourself, stay safe wherever you are, and I'll see you in November. Ooh, that's the real spooky part. Oh, and look at these sleeves. Gorgeous, eh? Bye, Ron. <laughs>